Jay Wright retiring, man. And not going to the Lakers, apparently. Jay Wright retiring. I'm pretty shocked at that. Yeah. Because shocked. because here's here's why I think it's shocking. One is because um nobody saw it coming. And part of the reason why nobody saw it coming is we just saw Coach K step away after a season long tour, if you will, farewell tour. And at an age that if Jay Wright kept coaching until, he would have had a shot to put himself up there in, you know, wooden territory. And obviously, I don't think anybody's going to catch Coach K ever in terms of total wins. But he'd, he'd be all the way up there. And um, because this team, certainly in the last several years, just keeps on showing up in Final Fours. And showing up and showing out in the NCAA tournament. And it's a machine that also kind of stays under the radar. Which is an amazing thing to say about anything that happens in the Northeast. Let's look at that part of this country. Record, man. It's like 25 and 10. Like every 520, 520 and 197. Winning 72.5% of his games in his 21 seasons as coach of the Villanova Wildcats after he spent successful seasons at Hofstra. And um, four Final Four appearances, two NCAA tournament championships, leaving only Bill Self and Iona's Rick Patino as the active coaches, only active coaches in college basketball with multiple national championship appearances. And this is after Roy Williams left and then Coach K left and now he's left. Three guys who are in that category have now retired. And the other surprising number about all this that certainly makes people think, really, you're not going to go to the NBA, <clears throat> is 60. Yeah, I saw that he's 60 years old, which is... But how old did you think he here's, was? I, I honestly thought he was younger than that. Me too. And uh, I honestly also think 60 is a young age. It is now, yeah. uh, You know, and so um, that's kind of surprising, all surprising aspects of it. He was so terrific at his job, so great at his job. And um, his, this is another stat that I found fascinating to me. He's 60, 30 win seasons is one more than Jim Behan. Well, and, Jay, Jay's doing something I wish Jim had done a long time which ago. Which is leave. Retire. I know. I know that's what you're saying. Um, but, I mean, Bill, Bay, Bayheim is also um, known as the king of the Big East, even though he's in the ACC right now. And he's never leaving. Izzo and Patino also have only five 30-win seasons. Wow. Sixth most ever for Jay Wright, who's now going to hand things off to a Fordham guy. So the last Villanova coach went from Hofstra to Villanova. Um, Kyle Neptune is, for, uh, you know, a guy who was on the staff for Jay Wright f as a video, a video guy and then 10 years, multiple years as an assistant. 30, and, 37 years and old. And that's the other surprising thing, too, is that the school said that they've done a search and they've come up with this name and... So all this time, this under the there's a search going yeah, on. Yeah, Talk about so keeping the things whole, tight. The whole tournament and everything, there was a search happening? I don't know about through the tournament, but the tur I mean, the tournament's only done for two and a half weeks. It's been over. This is it. About hey. three weeks since the Final Four, yeah, right? Great secret. Since I mean, they were bounced. Good uh, job I mean, to everyone for keeping this wow, quiet. Right? I know. So that's why a lot of this is so surprising. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.